Today on Florida Sportsman Best Boat, we're looking at three different catamarans that have varying layouts for family and fishing. Breaking tradition is sometimes hard, especially for an angler who has never experienced the ride of a catamaran firsthand. For someone who's owned a boat before, one ride through an angry inlet may be all it takes to make him or her a convert. As with any new boat purchase, a demo ride should be the most important part of the decision-making process. Cats do have an awesome ride and are very stable at rest. It's one of those things you'll just have to see for yourself to understand. Some key features to look for in this class of boats are, most catamarans have ample space for all of your gear and crew due to the fact that the beam is carried all the way forward. The wraparound windshield on a dual console layout offers you and your passengers plenty of protection from the wind and rain while underway. With the outboard engines mounted far apart on each sponson, it gives a catamaran enough room in between the motors for a large sternboarding ladder. If you want to use your boat for entertaining, choose one with a galley that includes a sink and slide-out fridge. Lounge seating next to the helm will allow your crew to ride in comfort as well as stay in communication with the captain. Another feature that the family is sure to enjoy is a side console with enough room for a step-down head. If you want to use your catamaran as an offshore fishing machine, you'll need a tackle rigging station with plenty of storage for all of your gear. Most catamarans have the ability to plane on one engine, a comforting thought for a boat that may venture far from land. The wide forward beam of a cat lends itself to have a large area for comfortable bow seating. Join our hosts Dave East and Rick Riles as they feature three catamarans from 23 feet up to 32 feet in length. Each boat has a different interior configuration for the hardcore fishermen and the family. They are the World Cat 230 DC, with an overall length of 22 feet 7 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and max horsepower rating of 230. The World Cat Dual Console 2740 Glacier Bay Edition, with an overall length of 27 feet, a beam of 8 feet 9 inches, and max horsepower rating of 300. The World Cat 320cc with an overall length of 32 feet 2 inches, a beam of 10 feet 6 inches, and max horsepower rating of 600. They'll be conducting walkthroughs, test drives, and reviewing key features, all to help you decide if this is the best boat for you. Welcome to this episode of Best Boat. I'm Dave East, boating editor of Florida Sportsman Magazine. And I'm Rick Riles, program director of Florida Sportsman Radio. This week, we've got a special surprise for you. We're going to be looking at catamarans. And Rick, you know my background. Man, these boats have a special place in my heart. I know they do, and my background comes from the exact opposite. I had never spent time on one. You know what Mama told you? Never judge a book by its cover. I'm impressed. Explain to me, I mean, the minute I look at this, I can start to understand what makes these boats so efficient. Well, the design, there's two really basic things about the design. Look at a spoon and a knife. A V-Haul being a spoon, a catamaran being a knife. A knife will go through the water easier than a spoon wheel. The second thing on a catamaran, you have all this air that gets stuffed in the tunnel. Well, it gets trapped in there, and a certain amount of that air causes a cushion layer. So before a cat can come down and smack the water, it has to compress that air. That helps the ride. It must help the ride because I was in plenty of chop today running that little 23 that we had and it just didn't pound. No, it won't. And it really, that's a lot of cats are like that, whether you're it's a little 10 footer all the way up to the big 36s. That's just an attribute of a cat. Yes, they're big. Uh, they take you know, a little getting used to as far as the handling and stuff like that, but they'll do things that you, other boats just won't do. They'll run on one engine. This boat here will run on a single engine. This same size boat in another, another style may not. To me, the whole twin engine application is about being able to plane off and get home on one. Well, look at how much less planing surface an engine has to push with this hull versus a mono hull. They are very efficient. They're very, very stable at rest. Their inherent nature is to be still because before the boat can rock, not only do you have to sink this sponson in the water, you got to pick this sponson up out of the water. So here again, the only thing I can do is put you on the boat, let you take it for a ride. Also what we're going to do is we're going to go through the features because the three boats that we brought, they're all set up a little bit differently. Some more toward the fishing, some more toward the family. You know what they all have in common? They're big. They're big for their size. By that I mean I can't find a 32 foot boat. I can put as many people on comfortably as I could the 32 World Cat we were on today. Well, hopefully what we'll do in this episode is we can give you a little bit more information about a catamaran, what they're all about. We're going to dispel some myths that are out there that are untrue. 
And the best thing to do is go put the boats on the water. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This segment brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. At Yamaha, reliability is a family tradition. Meet the next generation. Four new advanced technology inspired inline four cylinder performers. Bred from the reliability and boater satisfaction that is part of Yamaha's DNA. They prove that when power gets lighter, faster, stronger and smarter, boating gets even better. And more satisfying for boaters like you. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This week, we'll be featuring center and dual console catamarans in the 23 to 32 foot range. All right, we're aboard the WorldCat 230 DC. If you're looking for a dual console boat that has got to be a little bit of a fishing boat, a little bit of a family boat, an all-purpose boat, man, this boat really fits the bill. I think we ought to cut right to it. It's a completely different 23-footer than any mono hull you've ever ridden. Today is my first day on a cat. This may be a good show for me to do because you talk about somebody that you're first introducing to cats. That's me. Having spent today on them, I've got a whole different picture of what cats are like. Well, what I love about a catamaran is the fact that the beam carries all the way forward. So this is only a 23-foot boat in length, but this is probably a 28-foot boat in square footage compared to a V-Hull. Ladies will love this boat, too, because in a typical 23-foot center console, your head is in the console, and it's really hardly any deeper than what the console is tall. In this boat, you're able to step down in the sponson, so now you can get down inside the head and stand up and have full headroom. And I've never ridden on a 23-foot boat that handled a one to two foot chop like we were in the bay here in Sarasota better than this boat did. Well, what I love about the design of a, of a dual console is the fact that you're really, really comfortable. You're sitting down, it's like you're sitting in your living room. You can close that windshield and now you're behind a full windscreen that keeps the wind off of you, the rain off of you. It's just a comfortable boat. But you know, I think above everything, the thing that impressed me, Last night, we were prepping for the show. We had five guys on the boat together at one time. We weren't in the least bit crowded. There's other features we'd like to show you, so come aboard and let's go through them. How many 23-foot boats could you play a four-man Texas Hold'em up in the bow? <laughs> Not many, but this one you could, you're right. You've got the room, and of course, you can pull the cushions and make it 360 degrees of fishing room, but if you've got a family, this seating up here is going to come in very, very handy. Well, this is where everyone's going to want to go to when you're underway and you're cruising the intercoastal or you pull up to the sandbar. But if you are fishing, like you said, we're sitting on two humongous insulated fish boxes. Right, and they're long enough. They, you can put offshore game fish in them and have them fit nice. A very important feature in a small boat and hard to find. The comfortable part of this boat is on the other side of this windshield. Let's go check it out. The seating has a bigger boat feel. This is a big helm seat. It's not just a little bench that you sit on. You really get the feeling of running a bigger sport fish boat sitting here. Well, the cool thing about a dual console is your passenger is just as comfortable because you're both behind this big windscreen and if you hit weather like we did this morning, you can close it and now you've really got some serious protection. A ton of storage under here, but under here, what may well be the best selling feature to the family. Well, most center console boats in the 23-foot range, if it's got a head, it's under the console, and it's only as high as the console is tall. In this boat, you can actually step down inside the sponson and have plenty of headroom. Well, not only do you have a lot of room inside the head, you've got an enormous cockpit back here. If you love to fish, this is where it's gonna take place. And let me show you something funny. Remember when we were kids, all the boats had back-to-back -back seats? They could lay out and, and sometimes dad would let us spend the night in them. Yeah. Look, they made perfect sense that they brought it back for this boat. This lays out, perfect place to take a nap. Well, it worked back then and there's no reason it doesn't work today. It's nice, you can sit backwards, let's say you're trolling or you're watching somebody being pulled on a water toy, this is a great place to do it. You have additional seating back here on the transom on either side and in the center, that's the largest live well I've ever seen on a dual console boat. Well, it is and it's got a big lid to it. It makes it very accessible. Everything's right about that live well. Every boat on the market's got a dive ladder. They all look great in the showroom until you try and climb up on one in a choppy sea. Let me tell you, if you're gonna swim, if you're gonna ski, if you're gonna snorkel, you want that dive ladder. Well, really a catamaran's the only one you can have this style because the motors are so far apart and you've got the tunnel coming through, you can afford to have such a large dive ladder in the back. It's not in the way. 
Doesn't hurt you from fishing, doesn't hurt you from running the boat, but if you want to climb up with all your gear on the back, this is so easy to do with those big handrails. I've been on America's Funniest Videos three times trying to get up the ladder on a monohull. <laughs> this thing makes it a whole lot easier. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This segment brought to you by JL Audio, how we play. Yamaha's next generation V6 four strokes are changing the game. Mid range power was awesome. Fuel, the burn, it's unbelievable. Couldn't believe the speed and the fuel economy is pretty impressive. I, mean, I couldn't believe the power. It was like a. Just. I was more like doing a quarter mile on a drag strip. And them things are like it's a whole other game. So I made the switch. Experience the difference for yourself during the Yamaha Discover V6 Offshore Demo Tour. See why we call it the game changer. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This week, we'll be featuring center and dual console catamarans in the 23 to 32 foot range. I gotta tell you, if you're used to a little more luxurious lifestyle, this Glacier Bay, which is now rebranded as a World Cat, 2740 is sweet. Well, if you've decided that a dual console is the boat you want, but you need more room, you want to take more people out, or just what you said, you want something with unbelievable fit and finish, this boat will absolutely fit the bill. I'm not. I came into this show not being a big dual console fan, but the wraparound seating we'll look at makes it work perfect on a boat like this. Well, two other features that the family's going to enjoy, you have a galley back here. Let's say you want to make sandwiches, you want to make a margarita. I mean, you can't clean fish on it, Rick. It's too nice for that. It is a little <laughs> nice for that, but that refrigerator sure is going to come in nice on a hot afternoon. It will. And here again, we've got a huge stand-up head. This is a head that you can get down in and not hit your head on the top. You've got plenty, plenty of room down there, not only for use of a head, but it's a great place for storage. I can easily see this boat making a long, long run. Well, similar features to the smaller 23 that we looked at, but the fit and finish and the level of quality in this boat, definitely elevated. Come aboard, let's go. You've certainly got everything you need for lunch right here. You've got your sink, you've got your refrigerator, you've got your utensil storage. It's perfect. Now, the boat has a live well. And sure, and you're going to be able to carry bait in here fine, but that's not the primary function of this area. This is where lunch happens, my boy. Well, they even went so far as to put a tip-out trash can on this side, and they kept it in the right area. So here again, they've really dialed this boat in to take it out, have a lot of fun with the family, maybe do a little diving, a little fishing, a little bit of anything you want to do. We've got the same style dive ladder that we saw in the 230DC, and I love the big handrails. You just, you don't find this style of dive ladder on most boats. Well, you find them on commercial dive boats is where you see them, and that's where it looks like that came from. But can't you see me walking through there with a hogfish on the spear, coming up here to the galley, make a little ceviche right there, pour yourself a cold drink out of the refrigerator. It ain't bad, Cap. No, and that's really, you've defined what this boat is all about. Well, you have a big cockpit, but you also have the stern seating that folds out, where if somebody wants to sit back here, you can, but it really, doesn't really take up any room in the cockpit. You could have two people sitting back here and still a lot of room. You like your little seats back here? Step up forward, son, let me show you some seating. Now we're talking seating. Check this out. Lean back here, okay? What, can, what problems does the world got we can't accomplish from sitting right here? Well, this helm chair is unbelievably comfortable. It feels like I'm sitting in a great big RV. I mean, to drive from here, you don't really have to stand up. There's no need to. And here again, like we said earlier, this is where all the conversation is going to take place. This is such a comfortable cruising boat. It is, and it's almost like it's two boats in one because you walk out of that very serious cockpit, you come up here, and you walk into, it's like your fishing rods are a mile away. Up here, it's more focus on comfort. Well, here again, we've got the protection of the windshield that closes. We had to run this boat in the rain or wind. We've got a really, really good windscreen here. And you have to step down head. It's enormous. It's got a little side window. You open this hatch, you step down in there, and you've got a lot of storage. You can change your clothes. You can use the restroom, and you don't feel like you're stuffed in a little tiny center console. A lot of stuff packed into a 27-foot boat. The only way you can do it is with a cat haul where she carries her width all the way forward. Well, the very forward part of the boat, the bow, has the same type of bow sitting we saw on the other boat, but much more plus. Come check this out. Well, here's the beauty of any dual console boat is the bow seating. I love it. I love the way they brought the cushion all the way around. I can sit facing aft and I can sit facing forward because they wrapped around this cushion. 
You're right, and if you carry so much more room because she stays wide forward. There's a lot of room up here to do bow stuff. You're fishing, you're diving, that's all further back in the boat. Well, too, we have a place here in the center of the floor we can put a pedestal and actually put a cocktail table here. So if you wanted to eat, have a, a picnic lunch on the boat, it's a great place to do it. Here again, much like the, two, the 230DC, we're sitting on insulated coolers below us. Maybe it's a fish box, maybe you store your ice there, your drinks, or it's just additional dry storage. Well, you can't have enough insulated place on a boat. WorldCat may be rebranding this boat with the WorldCat name, but they've kept all the Glacier Bay features because the Glacier Bay owners typically are very, very loyal to their brand, and you can see why. The fit and finish of this boat, powder-coated aluminum, fiberglass, T-top, that's why. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This segment brought to you by Birdsall Marine Design quality marine and sport fishing products. Birdsall Marine Design has been a leader in aftermarket and custom boating accessories for over 35 years. Based in West Palm Beach, our facility specializes in the manufacturing of custom T-tops, leaning posts, consoles, rod holders, marine canvas and upholstery products, and a wide variety of anodized aluminum hardware. Come visit our spacious West Palm Beach facility anytime or visit us on the web at birdsallmarine.com to learn more about our most innovative products. When filming for Florida Sportsman Best Boat, the cast and crew stayed at Pirates Cove Resort and Marina in Stewart, Florida. Family owned and operated, featuring 50 renovated rooms with an outstanding restaurant and a full service 50 slip marina. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. This week, we'll be featuring center and dual console catamarans in the 23 to 32 foot range. Okay, we're aboard the WorldCat 320cc, and if you're in the market for a serious fishing machine, this is the boat. Let me tell you, if you have had a 40 footer and you're tired of maintaining it, maybe a big flybridge sport fishing boat, welcome to your new home. I am amazed by how little you sacrifice when you come down to this boat. It has got features you would only find in a much bigger boat. Well, it really does. And when you take a boat this size offshore, you're really not giving up much. You're gaining speed. You're gaining fuel efficiency. I'm talking about when you compare to the big sport fish. About the only thing you give up is you don't have an air-conditioned cabin. But you know what? An air-conditioned cabin is not going to help you catch more fish. If you need that, stay home. Right. OK? If you've got tubes built into the gunnels of your boat for your individual top 10 lures, you have designed a serious sport fishing machine. I like the design of this boat and the little things that I'm seeing so far. Look back here, you've got cold bait storage if you're gonna have ballyhoo or something like that, you're rigging a place to put your pliers and this is made out of starboard so you can actually cut on it. So for a fishing machine, they've added the little things that you really should have. You step on this boat, it's ready to go fishing. What's one of the biggest features of having a big sport fish boat? Space, to put everything. How about this, talk about using your space wisely. There's your leaders. Here's your half a dozen favorite lures. How easy is that? Well, they've put them where you need them, at the gunnel. There's a lot of additional tackle storage here. Like we said earlier, you have a rigging station here, you have your live well here. But where you need your rigs, it's right there by the rod holder. And they're out of the way and they're ready to go. Well, you have a huge cockpit back here. I mean, I know this is a 32-foot boat, but the cockpit is giant. I love the dive ladder that they put on these cats, so if you want to use this boat for diving, getting in and out with your tanks, all your fishing buddies can be back here. You can do bottom fishing, you can do trolling. Here again, we keep saying it, you want to go offshore, you want to target anything beyond that pass, wow, this boat's set up for it. The range of this boat is essentially unlimited. There's one thing this boat can do that a lot of boats out there can. We've got twin 300 Yamahas on the back for power. If something happens, I spin a hub or whatever on a prop, this boat will plane off on one engine. That's something you don't see in a 32-foot boat. That's huge. In a big sport fish boat, you lose an engine, you're making six knots all the way home. Being able to plane in any twin engine application on one motor, to me, is the essence of why you want twin engines. And as far as controlling those twin engines, let's move up to the helm. This boat has power steering. It's got a lot of room from electronics. Let me show you this. We talked earlier about how comfortable this boat is. Look at the way they've done the seating on this. I love it. You can sit, you can stand, but just the way that they've done the upholstery, it's super, super plush, and it looks great. If you look at the windshield too, it's glass, it's tempered, it has a windshield wiper. Like today, obviously we had to run from the rain, you can get behind the protection of it. But they've also got these isinglass wings that come off of the boat and go down the side. You can get in this boat and basically have the protection of a pilot house, but when it's hot, take it down and you've got the open airflow of a center console. You've also got the little side windows that open, so when you're running, the air doesn't go past you, it gets diverted to you, which keeps you from getting so hot through the window of the pilot house. 
Well, as much as this boat is truly an offshore fishing machine, they haven't forgot the family. As we move forward, I want to show you the seating they've got up front. Super comfortable, great place for additional storage and more insulated fish boxes. Wow, welcome to our living room. Well, look how much space you've got up here. They carry the beam all the way forward. What that does, it gives you almost the same amount of room forward as you have aft in the cockpit. It increases the number of people you can carry comfortably. Well, you can. And here again, we've got a place in the middle of the floor for a cocktail table. It's stored inside the center console. It's out of the way. But when you need it, you snap it in place. You can sit up here and have a picnic lunch while you're underway cruising the intercoastal or while you've got the boat at anchor. When we talk about a boat having unlimited range, it means more than just enough fuel and enough size. You've got to be able to carry enough ice and provisions. Insulated fish box, insulated fish box, insulated fish box everywhere you look. There's a place to put ice, drinks, provisions, and fish on this boat. Well, you've got handy built-in handrails, the one you're hanging on to now here in the front. And here again, something that a cat has an ability to do is allow people to ride up here at a higher speed than most other boats that are on the water because you just don't get the pounding and you don't get the bow rise. So. We talk about being careful about putting people on the bow while you're underway. This is one of the few boats that people can actually ride here at a higher cruise speed. You're dead on right. One of my pet peeves is parents letting their kids ride forward to the console on a center console boat. It goes away in a cat hull because you don't get the pound on a short chop that you do on a mono hull boat. When weighing in all the benefits of fuel efficiency, ride, and stability, it might be a good idea to give a catamaran a consideration to see if it may be the best boat for you. Well, Rick, have I made you a convert yet? I and, uh, let me tell you this, I'm impressed. I gotta be impressed. How could you not love some of the conditions we ran through today with just relative ease? Well, like we had said before, we brought three different boats, and although two of them are branded with new names, they're certainly not new to the industry. The boats have been around for a while. World Cat is one of the oldest manufacturers of cats. They know what they're doing. They do a great job at it. And hopefully we've given you enough information where it'll spark your interest to go take a ride yourself because really that's what you need to do. Let the ride tell the difference between this haul and the other ones that you're used to. If you want more information on the three boats you've seen today, go to our website, photosportsman.com. Click on the boating page. Go to the best boat link. Or we'll see you next week on another episode of Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Be sure to join us next week as we look at 18 to 22 foot center consoles on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Each month, turn to Florida Sportsman for the best in boating and fishing coverage.